the well. And we know later, Rachel, Jacob's bride, is discovered at the well. And even further along, Zipporah, Moses' bride, is discovered at the well. And then we've all read the famous story about Jesus speaking to the Samaritan woman at the well. Um, John 4, 13 said, Jesus answered and said to her, to the Samaritan woman, everyone who drinks of this water will be thirsty again, but whoever drinks of the water that I will give him shall never be thirsty. But the water that I will give him would become in him a fountain of water springing up to eternal life. And then in John 4, 23, uh, it says, but a time is coming and even now has arrived when the true worshipers will worship the Father in spirit and truth. For such people, the Father seeks to be his worshipers. God is spirit and those who worship him must worship in spirit and truth. The woman said to him, I know that Messiah is coming, he who is called Christ. When that one comes, he will declare all things to us. And Jesus said to her, I am he, the one speaking to you. So when Jesus is having this conversation with the Samaritan woman, not only is it unusual because nobody wanted to talk to the Samaritan woman. They didn't want to have anything to do with them. So not only was he talking to her, but she recognized him. In fact, she's, it's the first time that Jesus says, I am the Messiah. And she recognized him for who he was, the Messiah. And she ran quickly to spread the good news to everybody she knew in her village. Um, and it's through her testimony, it says that many people came to believe in Jesus. Um, and so really the Samaritan woman became one of the first Gentile believers. So she was part of the very early church. She was a bride of Christ as an early believer in Jesus. Um, and Jesus found her at the well. Good job there. Fantastic. Bye. Bye.